With this lecture, we're going to look at the difference between the cyclical and natural unemployment rates. Okay, so let's start out with cyclical unemployment and what this means. And as, as the name suggests, cyclical unemployment is determined by the business cycle. So cyclical unemployment occurs when there is insufficient demand. Insufficient demand. And so what this means, if we look back at the business cycle, we know that this is time and this is GDP, or real GDP. We have a cycle which fluctuates like that. And now if we draw a trend line across it, we can see that sometimes there will be booms, sometimes there will be troughs, and sometimes even recessions. And it is during these periods of recession that we will experience cyclical unemployment. And this concept can be uh, also analysed by looking at the the um, the two sector circular flow model, or even the five sector circular flow model. So we have we have households. Let's just note this H and businesses, and we know that households give their labour resources to businesses. So labour, and businesses should in turn pay households in the form of incomes. But when we know that confidence is low and expenditure so sort of wavers, so we're just going to do this by a dotted line, expenditure sort of decreases, businesses have less incentive to produce. And so this line here isn't as solid, so production. And since we know that labour is a is a function used for production, so production is sort of a function of our A, which is efficiency, so secondary factors, multiplied by a function of capital, which we denote as K, and labour resource. Now we know that since labour is a function of production or economic growth. We can see that when growth decreases due to external factors such as a decrease in expenditure, possibly due to confidence reasons in a recession, therefore labour would decrease and or the demand for labour would decrease. And when the demand for labour decreases, this causes what is known as cyclical unemployment. So now let's move on to natural unemployment and this is employment that is unavoidable by the government so they can't use aggregate demand side management policies to affect this, the um, the demand of the economy to eliminate cyclical unemployment as they would eliminate natural unemployment so you can't um, nat eliminate natural unemployment because it is unavoidable even in a healthy economy. And natural unemployment can be broken down into four different categories. So we'll start off with the easiest of these categories, which is seasonal unemployment. So take the um, idea of, say, ski instructors or fruit pickers. They would only have jobs, say ski instructors, they will only have jobs in the winter months because they require snow or seasonal changes for their job to exist. And say with fruit pickers, they would only have a job if there would be fruit to pick. And so that, you know, only certain months they would have jobs. And that's relating back to this idea of seasonal unemployment. That unemployment occurs at the same time each year due to seasonal factors. Secondly, we have frictional unemployment. And this is the 
type of unemployment that the government is least concerned about because it suggests that people are moving between jobs. So you have contractors who move between jobs, so people so you have a contractor who is building a house and he's contracted for say a year and then after a year he needs to find a new project to work on. And that's that's frictional unemployment. They're not unemployed to the extent that they 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 don't have a profession is unemployment to the extent that they don't have a job or a contract at the moment. Another example which a lot of people love is this idea of hardcore unemployment. And this is basically what makes people unemployable. So due to physical appearance, say if you have a tattoo, if you have facial tattoos, if you have facial piercings or alterations that may affect um, your performance at work. So if you're if you're a salesperson, you don't want you don't want your um, your salespeople to be looking not approachable by customers. And although this may be why general stereotype, uh, facial tattoos are a massive or very large distractor to a job prospective job um, employee. So these are personal characteristics that made holding down a job very difficult. And so as well as say such an example such as a criminal record. So if you have if you are convicted of a um, say sex crime or assault, you're possible you're probably not going to be uh, let, able to work in say a child care center or something. So let's just make that a little bit clearer. Assault. So these are hardcore factors of unemployment. And finally, we have what is called structural. Unemployment. And this is the major source of natural unemployment. Is when there is a mismatch between skills, between the job and skills. It means you're not qualified enough for the job, and it also means that because of improvements in technology, your job has been made redundant. So, the most prevalent example of this is the ATM and how bank tellers they have lost their jobs because the ATM or the automated teller machine has become more efficient in doing their job and because businesses act or seek to minimize labor costs they have the incentive to cut these jobs and replace them with machines so new technologies would make some jobs obsolete and this is why the government encourages microeconomic training measures to help eliminate structural unemployment by actually sending these people back into the education sector, sending them back to university and learn new skills that may make um, them make make them more employable in the future. So that's the difference between cyclical and natural unemployment. Natural unemployment occurs even at these points of boom, while cyclical unemployment only occurs in troughs or recessions here. And so what the government aims to do with the goal for employment is to eliminate cyclical unemployment, but they recognize that natural unemployment would always occur due to some factor or another. And this is unavoidable even in a healthy economy.